In terms of conflict studies and genocide, um, there really isn't an opportunity to learn about this at school unless you're taking a social justice course. The more that we know about it, the more we'll, we're able to um, pick up problems and think of solutions and potentially propose them to Parliament. If we don't have dialogues, if we don't communicate within our, each other and speak about topics that are sometimes hard to discuss, there's going to be no progression and there's going to be no change. So I, I think we still need to collect different stakeholders. We still need to have more conferences and speak more about issues that are of concern because that's the only way we'll see change. People using Twitter to like get people for ISIS, like to get women supporters for ISIS, and I found that really like, like I don't know, it was astonishing. I guess you could say, like it really surprised me. Like I didn't know about that at all. And I... Seeing an expert in their field, like someone who dedicates jobs to these topics, is something that I can really appreciate. Like, yes, I learned about some of these topics in class, so I've read up on them, but to have somebody speak that their whole jobs and lives are predicated upon upon these things, I think is something really important. I think it is something that we need to continue to do because very much as it's good to have teachers, it's also good to sort of every once in a while bring someone who are experts in their fields. It was also nice getting to give our ideas because, you know, a large organization of adults, you know, like 40 onwards can think what they think about um, how to help youth, but really the best way to do it is getting the youth involved, getting them educated, and getting them to give the ideas of how to prevent it among their peer group. Also, like the, the issues they addressed were different. At the, like at the end of the day, they were all talking about, um, you know, how, how, what type of me measures people go through um, in like when they have deep-rooted hatred. A lot of things people weren't really aware of or like they've heard of it on the news, but it didn't seem real. And, you know, when people explain things in like a different way or if you hear um, like in a different way from the media, then it really does change the way you think about like atrocities or even like just hate crimes that happen in our own cities. I think sometimes we only value theoretical learning um, when we should be valuing experiential learning. <laughs> because if we can't really apply what we're learning at school, then there's really no point. I think experience and taking what you've learned in class and applying it elsewhere to help other communities is very important. So that's what we should be doing. Um, and I'm like really happy to have been a part of the conference because that um, made sure that I was able to do that.